Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mic. My name is Mike. You are in the presence of an artist because you're in my presence. And I am an artist. What's this? Well, this is the drawing camera, everybody. Tax expense. What? What? <sighs> Now, when I came up with this idea, and it's a big brain idea, let me just tell you that, I thought, okay, I've been missing drawing. I used to draw a lot, and I was pretty good at it. Here are some of my drawings that I did. Boop, bippity boppity boo, shazam. And I thought, why don't I do a video drawing for the baddies on the old YouTube channel, the ye old YouTube channel. So I started by saying, hmm, I want to do some drawings. Then I thought, hmm, I want to draw some movie characters. And then I thought, hmm, let's make this fun and do it from memory. And then I thought, no, there's a possibility that I could be good at this and it could turn out really well, which I don't think I want that. You know, sometimes it's good to be humbled and to know that you suck at something. So I'm hoping that I'm terrible at this because then I will feel humbled. And in all the movies, when the main character gets humbled, they usually have some kind of breakthrough and everything goes great. So that's the plan. I'm going to attempt to draw obscure movie characters from memory. This is going to be terrible. I just want to say that right now. Do not expect this to go well. So let's just put those expectations, like you're at here and I need you to be here. Great. So I went to the old Instagram and posted on there asking for you to give me obscure movie characters. So the first one that I saw that I wanted to do, the chef who killed a man with his thumb from Ratatouille. Let's just think for a second. Let's take stock. I've seen Ratatouille a multitude of times in the double digits. Not yet at the triple digits, but we're getting there. I have this visual of him like going like this, like, lol. Can anyone else do this with their thumbs? Totally unique, completely not ever been done before. You know what? I'm just gonna go fine liner on this because who honestly gives a shit? Nothing means anything. So if I, that is such a long face. Why the long face? Wait, I seem to remember him having a small forehead. How can he have a small forehead if he has a big face? Doth my memory deceive me? Damn, he really do be looking like a robot doe. I remember him having ears because he's human and humans have ears apparently. And he had like hectic eyebrows. I remember him having hectic eyebrows and him looking quite mad. I mean, you have to be quite mad to be able to kill someone with just your thumb. And I remember him having like a small flat mouth, like something like that. Did he have an average size neck? I think he had rugby player necks, like real thick. <laughs> What hand is that? How the, how does, what? I remember him having a real square thumb and I thought, wow, he's got a really square thumb. How embarrassing. Was he bold? Let's just, should, let's put a hat on him. So then that way I can dodge that bullet. What the hell does a chef hat look like? Who's doing it like me? Ooh, that. I mean, that's not bad. It's not good either. Next we have the ugly ass caterpillar in Bugs Life. Now, okay, Bugs Life, it's been a while. To quote Britney Spears at the start of, is it Break the Ice? It's been a while, yeah, Break the Ice. It's been a while. It's been a while. I would say five to 10 years since I've seen Bugs Life. Now, I know this caterpillar had cake. I know he was triple caked up. <laughs> What was his face? I just remember his cake. Like, and I know he was stacked. Why am I talking like that? So let's just go ahead and set up some of his cake. So let's say he has some cake at the, does he have arms? Do caterpillars have arms? So the best answer would be that most often they have 16 legs. I'm not drawing 16 legs. He has less. I've decided he has less. I'm the manager. Who the fuck are you? Exactly, sit the fuck down. I'm out of here. And he has an accent, he's like -do 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 -do. What is that about? I know he has chin rolls. This literally looks like a cyclone. Ooh, that ain't the vibe. Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck is this? And I remember him having eyelids for some reason. Why does this look like <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this. Why did I do this? Then he has the chin, right? And then chin rolls. And then cheek rolls like this. 
and then he has his head like that. Do caterpillars have antlers? You better talk to him before I do, because I'm hurt of feelings. My God. Okay, so let's say he has antlers. Is that what they're called? Antennas. Why does this low key look like Bugs Lightyear? Bugs Lightyear? Beyonce, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that an ugly ass bitch like this would even say that. Oh my God, are you fucking insane? Getting real bold with this one. That is honestly terrifying. A slug. And another slug. Why does this caterpillar have such good lips? It just doesn't make sense. This next one is Vector. I'm assuming Vector from Despicable Me. So I remember him having really long legs, kind of having like a gut, and then having like a triangular face. I know he wears an orange tracksuit and he has long legs. So let's just do the long legs and he has absolutely no like butt, which is me. So apparently this is a perspective drawing now. Let's say, what is he doing with his arms? He's shooting a gun at Gru. Why am I putting so much detail into this gun? And don't forget, this whole get up is orange, like prison vibes. <laughs> I'm sweating at how much I hate this. This honestly, what the fuck is this? What is this? <sighs> Moving right along. Out of context, you guys, this looks stupid as fuck. It is. It is stupid. It is exactly that. 100%. I was being too hard on myself. This is not bad, considering I saw this movie once, like five years ago. I'm gonna pat myself on the... Ow. Let's do two more. We'll do Melman from Madagascar, and then the Ice Age Baby. Let's do the Ice Age Baby first. So, I hate the Ice Age Baby. The Ice Age Baby, honestly, Something's up. Something's up. So the camera cut out while I was ranting about the Ice Age baby. And I think that was probably for the best. But this is where I am. And honestly, I think it's where I want to leave it. I am disgusted. I hate, I hate it. 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 And I hate it. Few reasons why I hate this drawing. First one is that it looks like a Teletubby. Second one is that it looks like Tommy from Rugrats, except like a demonic version. Then we have this weird, rocky, Russian boxer haircut. Ice Age Baby grew up to be the Russian boxer in Rocky. It all checks out. This is cursed, this is cursed imagery. Oh my God. Giraffes have really long necks. So let's just go ahead and sort that out. So he has his little, not little, big ass fucking face. What the fuck does a giraffe look like? I hate this. Oh my God, I hate this so much. Are the nostrils here or here on a giraffe? This is cursed imagery and I'm aware. Then he has those big teeth. I'm ready to end this video. <laughs> I'm ready to end this video and burn this shit. Then giraffes have that shit up the top, right? And I remember Melman serving jaw, like he had that jawline that everyone else wanted. But how far back does the mouth go? And like how much teeth do they have? Who fucking knows? You know what? The tongue's gonna hang over the side. Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing. Hold on. I think I did something. Burn it itching, burn it itching. Kind of obsessed. My drawing skills, a lot of people would be scared here. A lot of people would be scared. And I'll name them. This absolute serve that I did, wow. I just want to add his eyelashes in. Let's just add that in. It kind of looks like the version of Melman that you would get on unlicensed merchandise. That's Crackhead Melman. I drew Crackhead Melman. Did I draw Crackhead versions of all of these characters? Crackhead Baby. Crackhead Vector. Demon. This one remains a serb, I'm sorry. Wow, what else is there to say other than wow? I made some points here. Not enough for a full essay, but enough for at least an introduction. This was really fun though. I'd love to make this a series, so if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. Which one do you think I did the best in and which one do you think I did the worst in? I can very clearly see in my mind which one is best and which one is worst, but you know, let's put it to the people. We're about to enter the courtroom of Judge Judith Scheinlin. The cases are real. The people are real. 
the rulings are final. I also put up a Japan vlog a couple of days ago, so if you guys haven't watched that, make sure you go and check that out. I really enjoyed making that video, and I think it's really funny. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in a few days. Peace out. Bye. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.